Hello, my name is George. This drawing was created using AutoCAD. The purpose here is to recreate the solid model of the object shown. I'll erase the solid and then redraw it. The problem is one of many for my book Mechanical Design Guide. I plan to make more videos and upload them to YouTube. My students at the Technical Institute where I teach have fun with them. When they are available for download, I'm sure you will enjoy them too. The first thing to do is to erase the small viewport in the upper right hand corner. Next, we'll double click inside the large viewport so as to gain access to model space. I'm going to create this solid by tracing over certain portions of the bottom view and certain portions of the top view. I'll do the tracings using a polyline, the polyline command in AutoCAD. It is important to use a polyline because AutoCAD can only extrude polylines. Here are the three views of which I spoke. Not only can we draw using a polyline, but also we can create a polyline out of ordinary lines. We can click on, ed on, on any ordinary line and then uh, with the polyline edit command, PE enter, it, the computer asks us if we want to convert it to a polyline, we say yes, and then we join all the lines so as to make a closed polyline. Using the view toolbar, I'll now switch to a southeast isometric view so I can exp show you better what I meant. In this view, you can see that I extruded each, all three pieces, a distance of point uh, one two. It is necessary also to extrude the holes so that they can be subtracted from the mo from the model. If I move the mouse over any of the uh, uh, views you can see them get highlighted. That means that they are polylines and they have been extruded. With the conceptual button on the visual styles toolbar, I'll add some shading to the drawings. You can see that the holes in the plate are indeed holes because I subtracted them using AutoCAD's subtract command. Now I'll go back to a 3D wireframe view. The next thing we have to do is to rotate the middle portion 90 degrees, either clockwise or counterclockwise. This is accomplished by using the 3D rotate command, which is on the modeling toolbar. Using the 3D rotate command, you'll notice that the axes show up on the drawing in three ribbons, a red, green, and blue one. Because I want to rotate around the green axis, I will select the green axis, it will turn yellow, and then I'll type 90 degrees, or just 90. Now you can see the result of what was just done. In the next step, we'll move the three pieces together and then add them so that they become with the AutoCAD's union command so that they actually become one piece. So now I'll shade this bracket so you'll have a clearer picture of what we've done. But the drawing is still not complete because we have to round the edges on the outside and we have to round or add fillets to the inside of the bracket. We do that using the fillet command and selecting an edge. Accomplishing that will be a little tricky and you'll have to practice it. After you have finished putting in the rounded corners and filleting the inside corners, you will want to use the 3D rotate again, 
command again so as to rotate the object 90 degrees counterclockwise, in which case you will select the red ribbon and then it'll turn to yellow and then you will type 90. And this will be the final result with all the corners properly in place. Now we're going to zoom extents and then go to the top view using the view toolbar and try to display only the 2D drawing in this viewport. Now we'll want to double click outside the viewport so as to gain access to paper space. Since we're in paper space, we can use AutoCAD's MView command to create an additional viewport. MView is spelled M-V-I-E-W. And then we'll select two points. Now we double click inside the smaller viewport and go to the southeast isometric view. This viewport is not complete because we'll have to use AutoCAD's pan and zoom commands and focus or zoom into the bracket. Having accomplished that, we can now shade the bracket one more time. And by double clicking outside the viewport, we can go back into paper space. The only task remaining is to go into the layer dialog box and freeze the layer called Vports, V P O R T S, which contains the drawings so that the blue outline of the viewports will disappear. The viewport windows have disappeared, but the drawings remain, and so this is the end of the tutorial. However, I'm going to add another clip so that you might become aware of other videos which. For more information regarding the videos on this clip, please check out YouTube or contact me via email. And don't forget to practice making solid models. It's fun. Thank you for watching.